went without a hitch tonight and, and until until it actually came to us and we just sort of sat in and went eh? I, I was expecting for a big freak out and it didn't freak out on us and it properly th properly threw me uh, good evening oh and welcome to vape talk uk episode 157 uh, you'll notice that chris has lost some weight despite sitting there eating um <laughs> Chris, unfortunately, uh, can't be with us tonight. He's got something very important that he's got to deal with tomorrow. Um, so he's, Jimmy he's has... Had his, he's, had his, uh, he's had his legs amputated. It's, yeah, uh, so... Apparently it's this new, it's this new kind of uh, weight loss program. You amputate your legs and instantly lose about three stone. You see, I heard that it was one of SlimFast's... Do, do you remember their advert? It went something along the lines of, give SlimFast a week. And see your legs drop off. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, the one. that's it. I've just noticed. Sponsored by my my beard's looking rather scruffy. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, not I'm not digging it. <laughs> You're not digging it. It's oh, not. It's 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 a bit shorter. Than, normally it's kind of yeah, it's here somewhere. It's. it's there is one problem with this. Been, uh, ah, you. You, you, you've trimmed it, haven't you, for the summer because it's so hot and you've, got, you've decided to go a bit... Me, normally I... Bit off. Me? Yeah. I'm not taking anything off. You know. I've not touched it for weeks. Okay. There is there is a problem with this new uh, new man-fangled computer -y video thing you're using. Yeah. I can't see chat. <clears throat> Yeah, um, chat is on. Yeah, yeah. You have to pop chat out in a in a which which to be honest, I haven't done yet. You have to you have to go into into Google Chrome thing, put YouTube up, oh, right. and do a pop out chat. There you go. So there you go. One five six. Now that's the wrong one. Oh, that's the live one. Oh look, there we go. Oh, that's me. Hang How on. do I do a pop out chat? What are you on about? Uh, when you're on the page, there's three button, the, the three dots in the top right, and it says "pop out chat." Mm. Is uh, it, Jimmy? Yeah. Have you ever used a computer before? Mm. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's nice not to be the incompetent one for a change. <laughs> three three dots in the top right hand corner. Yeah. Top right hand corner. See where chat is yeah. in the top right hand corner. It says top chat, or uh, if you if you next to it, there's three buttons. You know, in if you just open up YouTube, where where it, it's playing. Oh, the videos playing. right. YouTube. Ah, yeah, yeah. the button. Uh -huh. yeah, it's a live show. Everyone's on YouTube. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Hi, John. Hi, Craig. There you go. Um, I'm getting paid for this, caring the community and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Funny fucker. <laughs> oh. It's it's taking care of the elderly, really, isn't it? You know. You can fuck off. How many technical issues did you have on the podcast this week, dude? Oh, the technical the podcast was fucked this week. Absolutely, completely. What happened? I, what I did my bit. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're blaming my internet as per. Um, it is usually yeah, your internet, though. To be fair, Chandler. To be honest, it usually is. To be fair, <laughs> normally we call it on a Saturday, and it's fine. For some reason, on a Sunday, it just uh, Sunday internet. Obviously, everybody's not wanting to go to work in the morning and using the internet. What's the name of this show? Uh, Vape Talk UK. <laughs> V stands for Vape. I've said it's a Vape related podcast, anyway. 
Right. Ah. Oh, dear. So go on, Mark. What are you vaping on? Uh, I've got no idea. You got no idea. Like, no idea. You are vaping. You are vaping because I, I saw clouds. I, I saw am. clouds. I um. Hello. I I uh, you know I had all the problems with the um the berserker. Yeah, you weren't happy with the berserker. I wasn't point, happy with it. Oh, I'm I'm happier now. Still find it happier. a little bit um sweaty, but I. <laughs> Bought myself a saber. I kept meaning oh, to buy one. Kept meaning to buy one. Kept meaning to buy one, and yeah. I never actually got around to it. Um, turned up last week, and I'm quite impressed. Cool. Running yeah. the a, saber. The saber running a 1.1 ohm build in there. Mm -hmm. so you, have you got that? Have you got that set up for full on mouth to lung? Like dank mouth to lung. Like dank mouth to lung. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just realised I can cover my face. That's good. You can cover your face? Yeah, I can cover my face with the chat bar. <laughs> you really don't like seeing yourself. Okay. <laughs> it's just because it's got, it's got a really weird delay on it. It's bonkers. It has got a slight delay on it. It's, uh, it is a little strange. I think that's what... Yeah, anyway, don't worry about it. It's fine. But either way, anyway, sorry, I apologise. Uh, one own build, uh, and I'm finishing off. I'm not one to throw things away, uh, so I'm finishing <laughs> off my bottle of slime. Um, yeah, really, really liking it. Really, really liking it. And the reason, I, I like I say, I've been meaning to buy one for a long time, just never got round to it. Um, <laughs> we actually had a, a sales rep come into the show. Into the show, into the shop a couple oh. of weeks ago. Okay. Um, and he'd got one. And I was like, oh, what's that? And he got, um, what did he got? He got a tobacco, cabana from, I think it's a V God one. V God, yeah. Okay. And it was very nice. So it was like literally as soon as I got home that night, it was like order, order, order. Yeah. Is it the villa one or the custom one? Custom there's two different ones. There's, a, there's, there's, there's um, Cabano white and Cabano black. No idea. No idea. I didn't question him. Are you, are, you, are you seriously telling me that somebody thought that mixing tobacco and custard was a good idea? You thought ambrosia was a good idea? It is. Uh, Craig, I am running a full uh, NI... Um, it's a 28, 28 gauge 40 Clapton I think um, I did run a full um, Canthor build Clapton build in it when I first got it, it just the ramp up was taking far too long and I really disliked it um, so I uh, got Keith at work to build me a and then I uh, and an 80 coil and yeah banging awesome flavour's not incredible it might be my build but the fact it doesn't piss juice everywhere the fact it's easy to build the fact <laughs> I don't want to launch it across the room can only be a positive thing and you know how critical I am better than the berserker yeah. then because when you was on the podcast and you launched that across the room Oh, the Berserker really... It's, 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 be it's better now. It's better now. But... It's still, it's still a shit when you've got to put juice into it and you've got to turn the fucking thing upside down to screw the fucking... You know, if you've got to re-wick it or something, you've got to turn it upside down every time. To be fair, let, let's go with this as a negative point. I went to re-wick earlier at work. I oh, know, it wasn't this. Ignore me. I went to really wick earlier the Berserker and realised I hadn't got a tool to unscrew uh, the top and I was about to lay that on the saver but it wasn't the saver. It was the Berserker. It was the Berserker. What, was, what, what tool was it you needed? Is it a... Just a flat. It's fucking hammer. Hang on a minute. I've got leakage. Uh oh. Leakage. <gasps> I uh -oh. think it's actually... Saver leakage. It's actually from the top. From the mouthpiece? It's from up here. 
Oh. Is it not tight? Is it, have you not screwed it down? Yeah, I think so. I may have just have overfilled it though when I. But no, very nice, very nice. I um, tip my hat to them. Well done. I love it when it pops when you do that with a mouth to lung. You like the pop? I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just, you just inhale it. You, 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 you vape a mouth to lung exactly the same as I do. You just pop. It popped me earlier. See that? Oh, oh, that looks nasty. <laughs> that was a pop earlier. Ooh, ooh, so it, it, it. <laughs> all right, spat at you. All right. Yeah, no, it's not good when it does that. But you know, no, you 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 vape mouth along the same as I do. You blow, you blow your first cheek full out, and then you take a drag. It's for me. It's the warm up. Yeah. But you don't need don't to do why, that. I don't know. I don't know why I do that. I I do it when I don't need to do it as well. Even if it's got. A nice quick ramp up. I still. I do. I do a, do a pipe smoker's puff. Oh, apparently, uh, D Fogs has just said in chat if you if you really fill it, the saver will weep a bit from the top. You see, my problem is I think I've wicked it a bit too tight, so I'm having to burp it. Right. And every time I burp it, it's pushing uh, residual yeah, yeah, yeah. juice, pushing residual juice out from where I've overfilled it in the top. But it's my own fault for trying to push the two mil. I'm going to turn my light on because the lighting's not right in this room. Um, Got to it, get the lighting right because obviously we need to see his gorgeous tones. Uh, well, you can just see I'm not fucking oh, rich. Jimmy, that is so much better. We can we can really see the glow of your forehead. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and in my other hand. Um, You've got two hands. Awesome. I have one hand here, one hand here. Um, I'm back on the goon using the super bat. Um, <laughs> You've got the bat mod. And I'm flicking between. This is a bit of um, dirty self promotion, but um, not intended. I am genuinely vaping it. Um, Oh, it's going to be apple and elderflower. It's not. No? Oh! Oh, left, rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Pinar Carl Hart, no? No. Not rhubarb and ginger. Rhubarb. Oh, rhubarb and ginger gin. Oh, my lord. And also... Zimai Tai. Mai Tai. Mai Tai. Mai Tai, is, Mai Tai is good, and I'm not just saying that. Mai Tai is good. Cool. And what's it? So, so that's that's what that's what you that's what. So you got your saver. What was what's the Mai Tai in there? Huh? In your, what, what was on top of your back box? I, it just completely fell out. Good twenty four. Good. Cool. Mm. Using a, using a pair 0.13 and 80 coils with some cotton. Mm. Oh, just a little bit of cotton there, then. Yeah, and using um, batteries in the mod just to. Ah. They are. They're dank vape batteries. Are they dank vape batteries? Vape yeah. Specifically, yeah. specifically made for vaping with. Yes. <laughs> specifically. <laughs> specifically. <laughs> I just found Peter Collard after the house move at the bottom of the shop. How are you liking it, Craig? You liking the Pina? Does he like the Pina Colada? I like Pina Colada. All, all I think, all, all I can think of is, um, oh, what was it? Arnold Schwarzenegger, Total Recall. 
Oh, this is like, I am, All I can think of I is a guy with a very tiny head in that. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming bursting out of his chest. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I, can, I can almost, I can't do the accent, I almost taste the pina coladas already. Yeah, pina colada. Um, so what are you vaping on? Who? Me? Who? Whoever you like. You, you, I was going to say, you said that, but you're looking at Jimmy, according to the, the three on the screen. Oh, Go on, Jimmy, at, first. I'm literally looking at you guys in the corner of the corner of the screen. You're you're over there. I, oh, okay. I should centre it really, so I'm looking at the camera. There we go. Hey. What am I vaping on? Yeah, yeah, go on, Jim. I am vaping on the Aegis with the saver on top. Yay. Same as always. Hey. Um, that is in. In MTL, one mil, um, Nick Sots in here, 18 milligram, and I have a Canthal build in it because I love it. Do you not find the and I've never a bit too long? Hmm? Do you not find the wrap no. up on it a bit too long? So it's my way of vaping. Absolutely perfect. Uh, it's a 1.11 build. Bag on um, the same as mine. <laughs> 1.11 for the win. And what are you running at? 12.4. You see, oh, I'm kicking it a bit at 15. <laughs> yeah, no, 12.4, 12.6, somewhere around there. Absolutely love it. I've never had it leak once. Um, I love the fact I can just fill juice up in it, screw the top, and it's done. Oh. Um, people who've been following our group this week have seen me have this in dust and happen been everywhere. Out. I've tested the shit out of this Aegis. Yeah, I have. Um, it was. It was. Uh, we took a photo of it in a pile of. Was it MDF dust? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's my ripped that's... out a partition wall, and mm. it was all made out of MDF, and I completely destroyed it. I just took a hammer to it because that's me. Yeah, but MDF is great for the respiratory system. Um, so yeah, in there I have lick uh, raspberry dripple. Um, I am also vaping upon. A Craig Nichols Pico sleeve. This mod goes oh, everywhere with me. The green one, it's lovely. Yeah. And on top of there, I have the B2K Caviar Edition. Um, yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Craig, I sent Craig a little message uh, the first day I started the new place. Um, and these two mods that you've just seen are the only two that I took to work for like two weeks. That was it. That was the only two that came to work with me. Um, in there, I have the glazed blueberry donut by a uh, 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 barista brew. And if you can hear the dog, it's fucking mine. Um, yeah, it was the only mod that I took with me for two weeks because I then uh, bought a mod which we got in. Which is oh. the... Um, <laughs> oh. The Bastion by my, Mr. Biker. In my favourite colour as well, that looks. That, that just looks cracking in that green. You and on I've, top of that, I, I've got my, my Vulcan. You see, I've not tried the mod yet. Um, Why? I, 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 like, I, I haven't like, other than. I like small mods. I don't like anything too big. The only okay. The, uh, the only the only right. issue you I, have I, a VVRM. I, you have a VVRM. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Chandler. Come on. You have a yeah, VVRM yeah, in true. front of you, do you not? Do you have the the one with your no. door? Uh, with your Mark, I did. Mine's you, not in Mark. front of me. I can go and get it. Mark. Hello. I can see me. Stop playing around with the fucking cameras. <laughs> It's to make right. it's, it's to make the show more entertaining and more visually appealing for the for the viewers. I nearly said listeners. Right, I, I, I've I've seen the joke about the Bassium being really big. I in, even went in on the joke and made sure that people saw that the Bassium was big. You have a VVRM, correct? Correct. Do you think that's a big mod? Maybe yeah, I mean. you, you're allowed to say you're allowed to say yes. It's fine. Right, <laughs> right. 
Bear with me. I'm going to grab mine. One second. All right, okay. okay. No problem. For the rest of them, let's dance. Um, in 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 the bassium, I have got big fluff. Big fluff. I watched I watched a video on the uh, so, someone was reviewing the bassium, and mm -hmm. they took uh, and they took out the back the, the battery the bottle. Yeah. And it was it was Grim Green uh, reviewing it, and he put the needle nose of the bottle yep. into the top. Yeah, you can go straight on the top. And and literally used it like a, a bottle filling system. And yeah. I'm looking at that going, that's genius. I don't whether yeah, that you... was whether that was intentional or whether that was just a um a, a happy accident after the uh There's my sled. After they made it, there's the sled. Because the needle, needle. knows fits it in. Yeah. Awesome. And then you then you then you just blow the air out of the bottle and just let it yeah. all fall in. Yeah, so you tip the bottle that way, blow yeah. the air out, and then turn it that way and squeeze the juice in. It's fine. And let go out and squeeze it. Cool. He's uh, best. That's the best way to get the to fill up the bottle. Yeah. Right. So, do you have your VVRM in hand? I do. Right. Would you say that the VVRM is a big mob? Yes. So, so it's, it's, it's a would good you now say the Bassium is a big mob? Yeah, even bigger. No, <laughs> it's, it's narrower. Okay, give us a twelve. It's narrower. That is that is completely level on that side. It is narrower than the VVRM okay, by a yeah, good it's centimetre. It's narrower, but yep. now, now give me a side-on view. Side-on? No, stop hiding, way on? The, stop hiding the fact it's so fucking wide. <laughs> oh, that way on. There we go. It's not that much wider. Fuck off! It's twice the size. <laughs> <laughs> it's not no, really it's twice the size. Strangely, when we've got the uh, when, because I, I got to hold one at Expo, and when you've got it in your hand, it looks it looks like it's going to be really uncomfortable because it's square. There's only one corner that's got any rounding on it, but once you've got it in your hand, yeah, bizarrely feels very comfortable. I can't, I can't hold my hand like this for too long, right? So that's my bass. That's my VVR in up, my hand. Center up. Hang on, let's mm -hmm. let's full screen him. Right, yep. so that's my VVRM in my hand, right? And I've not got big paws. Yeah. No. That's my bassim in my hand. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it's not. You see, the VVRM is in my hand. I want to compare my hand to yours. It is, it is definitely in my hand. Right. So is mine. Right. Yeah. I, I much prefer so, a smaller mod. Someone, yeah, I mean, someone. I, I, I remember someone compared it to the um, oh dear, Kadama. What's the, 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 the what's the Kadama? There we go. That that was about to be my next point. The Asmodus, right. the Asmodus Minikin. There you go. The Minikin V two. It's it's still hideable. There we go. The Minikin V two. Yeah. Well, actually, look, uh, comparing it to the Minikin V2, the Minikin is actually wider, um, and it's not much deeper. No. It's obviously, obviously the front, it tapers to the front on the Minikin, whereas the, the Bassium is more square, but there's very, when you look at the two, a Minikin and a Bassium, there's very little in it. Can, can I just try something? Yeah. yeah. Dooby dooby doop doop doop. Ah, that'll do. Point made. <laughs> and, and, and Chandler was drinking, so. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> what, what was what was the point? <laughs> we were talk, talking about earworms the other night, uh, and I've actually oh. just we've just actually got someone in to who doesn't normally watch the show to come in just to see if it worked, and it did. So thank you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> but no, the point I was making. 
Um, they're a few seconds behind. <laughs> um, that is one of my all-time favourite mods. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Wasn't cheap. Uh, saying that it shouldn't have been cheap. Um, <laughs> is this a bomb? <laughs> Ha <laughs> um, Okay. One of my all-time favourite mods. However, it's too fucking big. Mm. It's too big. I don't... I like to be able to conceal. Pass me my SVM, please. SV, the orange and white one. Thank you. That's my size. That's what I like. A nice... Yeah. If you if you're if you're used to if you're used to that size where it disappears where it literally disappears in your hand, then huh? I mean, the, I don't think anyone could call the Bassian pocket friendly. Guys, guys, no. W w would you guys would you say that I'm a twat? Mm, yes. No. Do you mean, <laughs> no. Be honest. Not particularly. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay would apparently. You could fuck off and all that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just on. ignoring bad comments because, yeah. Yep, with you, man. Um, it's huge, no matter. Yeah, I don't. It's big. It is big. And I know Chanda likes. Is it? Is it a single 18650 or? Dual 18650. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dual 18650. You see, I've it's got. It's dual 18650, single you know, battery. There's, there's no physical way that he, you could make that any smaller if you fucking tried. I don't know. There is no way with a te with a bottle in there as well and a board. You've got, there's absolutely you've got no two way. Batteries, I mean, two batteries at the bottom. You've got your bottle on one side and your board on the other. There's no way of making a dual 18650 squonker with a board in it any smaller. I bet you I could. Give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah, give it a go. I ain't got time. <laughs> give it a go. Honestly, I I don't think you'll you'll find a way of doing it. I well, really I don't. A, you know, you know, you know. I made a dual uh, dual twenty seven hundred squonker, mm. and um, Dan Goodchild put it next to the Bassia, and my squonker looks a beast. Stood next to it. I'm trying to work out. Uh, I was I was I actually expecting that. mine would mine would be a touch smaller, but no. I think that's probably two or three mil, either side of the batteries. Yeah. If you're lucky. That's fine. And, but the other and that way. Includes, I mean, yeah, but then you've got a, then you've got a squonk bottle in there. And what size is the squonk bottle? It's a uh, maker one. Isn't it? So I see yeah, it's well, but because of the yeah, but because of the sled, you can put as long as you can get a, bo a bottle that fits in there, you can put whatever bottle you like. In. Yeah, but the sled's tiny. Look at the side. Look at the edge of the sled. Yeah. Don't get me it's wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not criticising it. I'm not bitching about it. I'm just saying that for me, it's too big. For me, it's too big. I, I, just, I like something discreet. I like the fact that I can run higher builds in this or lower builds in this mm. and, and run them at higher wattage. Obviously, having dual battery helps no end. I'm running this at 70 watts. It's, uh, what was it, a 0.19 build at 5.08 volts. You see, for you know, me, you, when I run a... Yeah, yeah. Where is mine? It's at the side of the bed. Um, when I run a squonker, I literally run a P4, a P4, a 0.4 ohm build, and a single battery will last me most of the day. I don't I don't oh. need two batteries. I don't. I don't need two coils. I don't... For me, no, it but if you want my basic style, but I'll I'll agree. I mean, most of my squonkers are single coils. I always put wasps on them, or I put this on. Um, I, I don't I tend to run I've dual builds, but when I've I want got, to run I've a dual single coil on mine, but mine's, mine's that? that's point two eight single coil, and it's on my where is it Entheon. So running yeah. out of point but do you, but do you need to run that at sixty watts with two batteries to get the most from it? Uh, this no. this will do, yeah. I, I, but what build have you got? I in suppose there? it depends. If you're after if you're after a regulator, I mean, 
I would I would say the fair comparison would be to stick a Bastion next to next to that because that is oh, a yeah. that's a regulated dual battery with a, a, a squirt bottle. That is and a brick. That is um that is huge. To be fair, we're all walking round. Sorry, I'll just stop speaking mid conversation. We're all walking Fine. around with RXs anyway at some point. Yeah. And it's not far off that, is it, to be fair? No. Hmm. In fact, in fact, when it's in your hand, it feels smaller than an RX. It really yeah. does. So I what... was I was comparing because I was comparing it to to this, and this is this is pretty much exactly uh, same size as an RX two three. Yeah, I mean this is this will be shorter. Oh, it's there. There's my RX two three. Can you uh, try to get this in the camera? Yeah. Hang on, let me let me tickle you. There we go. Whoop. There you go. RX two three. Do you now? If you compare that to the width of your of your VVRM, so this is the beauty. We've all got the VVRM, so we've all got a a ground. Oh, so right, so that's that. What's that? Centimetre and a half taller. So it's a, oh, it's a hell of a lot taller. And um, and what about width? And width wise, it is the VVRM is fractionally wider. Right, and but then if you compare, then if you compare the Bastion back again, where's it gone? Then you compare the Bastion; it's shorter. Mm. Mm -hmm. I suppose with the Bastion, it ought to be, it ought to be, instead of it being that way, because because of the way. It's shaped. You ought to compare it. Oh yeah, that's to get from the camera. There you go. At that angle, rather than that angle. You see, does that make sense? Because that makes it more square. Maybe. Simon, Simon's saying exactly the same as what I said. One of the things I like the most about my squonkers is the smallness. So this seems a bit contrary to my likes. It's exactly what I'm saying. You know, I've got nothing against it. You know, there's people that run. Point one, point two builds, two coils that need two batteries, that need to push out 60, 70, 80 watts. Fair play. That suits their vaping style. But I'm sure if they could have had it made a little bit smaller, they'd probably enjoy it more. I My mean, vaping style is mean, very... I've, I've got most things. I mean, I've got... Downstairs, I've got my um, uh, Phobia sat with a wasp on top of it. And, and that's ideal as a little tiny pocket. But then... I prefer the feel and the grip on this Pico. Love it. And that's because it's got the sleeve on it, it's obviously wider and it's fatter. I love it. But having made the, having made the dual parallel squonk, even with the I mean, because obviously single battery, which is what we're all used to using with our squonkers, the dual parallel was the difference in the vape. The, the the amount of time where you've got a consistent um, a consistent voltage coming through to your to your atti, um, was substantially different so it did feel like it was hitting like a train as they say because it it, did, it stayed longer at that consistent at that slightly higher voltage Jimmy yeah for, forget forget the fact that where your Pico came from, the fact that it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's been made by a friend, and yep. if you had to choose one over the other, oh, cool. oh, oh, now then, one over the other of what? Of either the Pico or the, I don't even know what it's called, the Bassium. Yeah. Well, the Pico goes everywhere with me. Okay. So that was so, sorry if you had to if you had to bin one. I'm not binning any. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm leaving one at home, it's the Bastion. If we it's because, not binning any. because um, just like the feel of it in my hand. 
the, the ergonomics it of it. Yeah, yeah, but then I mean that's because this is all contoured and and all the rest of it. It fits nicer in the hand because it's contoured. Nothing to do with the size because it's actually wider. It's wider than the than the um, basium. But again, you're comparing single single battery to the to the dual. Is, is oh, if you want to compare the battery to a dual, what about a Luxotic? Not a big mod, is it? Would you say a Luxotic was a big mod? Right, not overly. Which one can you see peeking past? I know, but turn it the other way. That's my point. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's, not, it's not that bad when you consider that, the fact that it's got, an extra, it's got an extra battery in it. My point is there's a whole other mod there hiding behind it. Yeah. No, there's not. <laughs> I, I, understand, I understand what you're saying. Effectively, you can take, you, you, you're taking a... Um, well, let's, let's just say we take that. The, the issue is we just... You're extending the width that way. Hmm. So yeah, you're it's shortening got, it. It's got that two way, batteries in it. It's got a board it in it. Way. It's yeah. got two batteries, a board, yeah. and a bottle in it. It's got to be big. It of course, it's going to be bigger than a, than a standard yeah. single. But I don't think I, my point still remains. I don't think you could make a dual battery for, smaller. For a dual, I would battery. like to see something smaller, like but I don't think it's possible. You would literally have to have it sat on a millimetre of fucking titanium to do it. It's the only way of doing it. Uh, D Fogs. I love my bas my Pulse 80 Watt and my Bassium. Good. If you enjoy the vape and you enjoy yeah. using it, then That's fucking it. who gives a shit? I've got yeah, mods that cost me... Different. I've got mods that cost me 30 quid and I've got mods that cost me nearly 300 quid. And... I use them all the same, and I enjoy using them all. It doesn't matter to me. I, I rock a pulse every now and again. If I'm going out somewhere, I don't really, you know, if, if there's a chance that it might get smashed or dropped or whatever, I don't care. I'll just take the pulse. Not post. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a prima donna. I'm not a fucking high end only, and that's it. No. I've got mods that cost me nothing. That the doors need to fuck off on. <laughs> I'm still waiting oh, for someone to make me another fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need to make you. I need to make you one of these. You do, Chandler. Does that Chandler. say "gay boy" in the corner? Chandler, yeah. I know. I know where my door is now. I know where it is now. You know where it is down there under the bed. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, because last time you did that, you lost it for a week. I did. I did. Uh, only way to make it smaller is triangular configuration with very slim board. No, I don't think it'd work, Craig. I don't. I don't. I still don't think it'd work because you'd be longer. You see, it's I'm the, not too fussed the slim, about the length. The board. Um, I, I, I agree. I like the. I like the feel of this triangle feel. Um, I don't like. The... I don't like girth. I don't mind. I'd rather it be longer than fatter. <laughs> <laughs> what does your yeah. missus say? Uh, what do you prefer, longer or fatter? It ain't the size; it's what you do with it. Apparently. There you go. No. Oh. I was going to say I'm now I'm now trying to, I'm now trying to vape on this, and uh, surprisingly having some issues. To be fair, though, she uses. <coughs> yeah, pulse. eighty watt. And that yeah. that's a big fucking chunk. Mm -hmm. To me, that yeah. is a that's big mod. Too. That's a big chunk. Yeah. But it's the ergonomics. I, I like I, I it's find... the ergonomics. Every mod, it doesn't actually matter how long it is or how wide it is, it's how it fits in your hand. I can finger fire this, I can thumb fire it, I love it. No, I find I've but got rug mods. I know I'm, mm -hmm. I'm at, sorry, hang on, other side. Oh no, shit, there's a sticker on vinyl on both fucking sides. Either way. There you go. Um, rock mods. Now I find that I find that too small. No. I can't. I can't get a. I can't get a grip on it. It's. I end, um, I end up holding it. Give, I end up holding it like that to fire it. Give me it a doesn't, comparison. It doesn't, sit, it doesn't sit in my hand like that, and I can fire it with my finger. Right. That's and the S. That's the SVA. Uh, 
Let me just line it up so it's. Shall I just go downstairs and get all my mods? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just That's the SVA. Yeah. It's about the same height. It's mm -hmm. just about the same width. About the same width, yeah. Give or take. Yeah. It's just not as deep. How, how does that compare the rock mods? Yeah, but compared... bear, bear in mind that's got a 15 mil bottle in it. True. Yeah, the rock mods, if I line it right up with the BBRM, the rock mods is actually shorter. Mm -hmm. So, now, so having, that, having that extra, what, 8 mil width wise, to have an extra 8 mil of juice. But, you know? Yeah, but I like the I like the I like the extra the extra width the extra girth or the the extra width of it in my hand. It feels it mm. fits in my hand and it's sturdier. Whereas, and I'm not I'm not Don't knocking you... the rock mods. It's a cracking but... mod, and I managed to I managed to squeeze a, a silicon bottle into it. But it's just a bit. I usually end up holding it like that and and vaping like this uh, with my little finger up in the air. Because it's but then you, look like, then you look like uh, Dracula's camp uncle. Oh, no. Mm. Hello, just call me Vlad. Mm. Yeah. Call the Vlad. <laughs> oh. uh. Have you got OL, yeah, Jim? I... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'll go down and get them all, shall I? That, that, that'll waste a couple of hours. No, that's yeah, all I'm I've got. Chandler, what are you vaping on, sir? Me? I'm j I just realised my battery's gone yeah, flat. For breakfast. Yeah, I've got... I've got, <laughs> uh, I've got the a wonderful uh, <laughs> X-Cube X -Cube Mini. Yay. It's so I'm going... School. I'm going high... Oh, fucking hell. There we go, left, right. High-end uh, X-Cube Mini. But on the top, I've got the intake RTA. Um, mm -hmm. Which I am loving, and the one thing that I, the one thing that I was really worried about with the intake is this bubble glass. Um, but as you'll probably know if you run the vaguely vaping Facebook group, I had a slight incident with this and dropped it, and I didn't, I didn't drop it gently. Basically, it slipped out of my hand, and I went to try and catch it. And ended up slamming it on the floor because I didn't catch it. It just went wham straight on the floor. Did you see and my issue? I had this week with dropping a mod. And when I dropped it, I'd got my lovely drip tip. Can you see my lovely drip tip? Was that focus? Ah, oh, lovely. I've got that lovely, lovely drip tip on there. Unfortunately, now it's, yeah. it's just a, it's just a shadow of its former self. Did you um, did you see the, the issue I had with dropping a mod this week? No. I, did you I drop dropped your, this one. You dropped your Aegis. You dropped that one. No. <gasps> I dropped this one. I nearly uh -oh. cried. Ooh. <laughs> nearly cried. It, Good thing it was. It, it went yeah. face. It went down. And uh, I smashed the black cap for the um, B2K, and that was it. It looked better when it was black. On it was black with green on the top, and it was all black and green. Yeah. It all looked all yeah. lovely. But now, if you notice, it's now got the stainless on it, just because. Um, yeah. The, these, when they shatter, when the when you put the plastic B two Ks on it, they shatter and they properly just go and bits fly. Okay. You're just clumsy fuckers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yes, like, like I said, I dropped, I dropped this, slammed it to the floor, and the only damage was my drip tip. I was expecting this glass just to. To be broken everywhere, and I'll be stuck with the straight glass on. Uh, but no, it survived, and so did the so did the mod, which in in some respects is slightly annoying. But but there we go. I've had this. This was my second eighteen six fifty mod that I bought. Oh, literally said that's a years. Squonk. Which which squonk is pretty? <laughs> D fogs. Please don't tell me that. No, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not this one because this ain't a squawk. Because it, it, this one is very pretty, and the man who makes it is in chat. So yeah, yeah, touch with him. Yeah, Craig Nichols about. 
is is about four four up on yours in the on uh, yeah look four comments up on yours. There's Craig. He made it. There we go. So that so uh, Bastian and I'll give you the other one. There he is, yeah, Mark. Yeah. You you stay and talk to talk to Chandler. I'm gonna go and get the other one. Hang on. I'll carry on with my hand checks, shall I? Uh, <laughs> so and in there, I haven't. I'm about to rebuild this, and in there, I am going to put uh, some of this. The Knight's Vape Strawberry Shortcake. Shortcake. Um, there's not that much left in here, but hey ho, um, I'm loving the Strawberry Shortcake. What's so your favourite? Um, what's your favourite out of the range? What's my favourite out of the range? Now I was I was going to say the Strawberry Shortcake, but um, I've kind of I've kind of got. I think it's the hot weather, the uh, the green slush. I'm I'm definitely hooked on the green slush at the moment, the lemon and lemon and lime slush puppy thing, and it does taste like a lemon and lime slush puppy. With the uh, WS23 in there is really nice. Have you tried them now? No. You've still not tried them yet. <laughs> oh, you've got to try at, at the very least try the banana milkshake. Uh, uh, you don't like banana, no. right? Put put melon in front of me. Put banana in yeah. front of me, and I would rather eat shit. Right. Okay. I don't you like don't melon. I don't like banana. No. Okay. Not in not in natural flavouring and not in artificial flavouring. I just ah. Uh, banana. Okay. The texture's wrong. The smell's wrong. Yeah. The taste's wrong. Um, me melon. Just artificial melon. Just. Well, I never, I never yeah. liked. I never, yeah, I never liked. Don't oh, fuck me. Um, <laughs> I never liked. I never liked banana. Um, and I wouldn't have. I would never buy a banana juice. And the only reason I tried this was because Sam gave it me, and he said you've got to try it. So I'm like, oh, all right. I'm going to hate it, but I'll try it. And in actual fact, it. it I'll, I'll admit it took me a couple. Uh, it, it took me a couple of. It took me about a mill, a mill of juice before I decided I liked it, um, because it's got cool lager in it. It's, it's really you've got creamy, creamy banana milk, and then you've got a cooling sensation afterwards. Mm. Um, it's really unusual, but bizarrely addictive. So, but yeah, my favourite is definitely the green slush at the moment. Uh, in this weather. I think we've still got an active have we still got an active discount code for Night's yes. Vape? Is that still active? Yeah yeah it's the uh, what is it? I'm not Something sure nice if vape. he's I'm not sure if he's watching or not. Sam, uh can you let us know wants... if there's an active code for anyone that wants to try? Uh, Sam was in early, Sam was in earlier at the beginning of the show. I don't know whether he's still there. Um, can I just say, my fa one of my favourite wonkers of all time is the Molly. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and how do we how do we get one? Sub Vapes has just posted. How do we get one? Do, do you mean the do you mean the juice? Uh, no, I think the, I th think he's re referring to Craig's. Oh, Sam Squires. Yeah, VT UK ten ten percent off at uh, night nightsvape dot com dot co dot uk. Uh, VT UK will get you ten percent off. I'm gonna um, Google food the uh, if you want to eat. try the banana or the green slush as a spoken to, a spoken about by Chandler, which reminds me. Can I show another one of Craig's mods, please? Go on then. Another this is my wife's one. Oh, I can't spell nights. That's why I can't find. That I love that colour. It's purple. It's not blue. It looks at blue on the camera. I can't help that. But this is purple. This is a Cadbury's purple. I do like that very much. Very much. I really I need to get um, Craig when he's not so busy. I need him to do something for me. When he's um, when he's mo finished moving house and got all that shit sorted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't. I don't want to bug him. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Also, I wish my he's, also, he's, he's also a genius. I really I wish mean, this showed off how 
thought this mod was, but it doesn't. But they are it absolutely always shows stunning. It, it always shows it blue on a camera. Always. Yeah. And you, you, bond as the, you bond a mod that's purple. It's exactly that the same that comes up as blue. I mean, that one. Yeah. That is a lovely deep blue. Actually, it's a it's a really deep purple. Dark it's purple. It's beautiful. Dark purple. But yeah, and and Madeka. And if anyone, if whoever, and uh, if anyone can squeeze a mod, a lipo battery, into a tiny communicator, uh, a communicator toy, it's just a genius, it really is. Well, my my wife wants to start collecting the English or UK manufactured product. I better say it because <laughs> I'm talking about his product. Um, and the first one that she wanted um, was this so that was her birthday present last week um from me and yeah she absolutely loves it absolutely loves it it's a pico sleaze Gosh. she loves it right i'm and gonna i'm gonna show you my next i'm gonna show you my next my, my next mate what do you think to that mark uh oh shit oh there we go um hold her up that a f what, what my, are doing? my only question to what? you, Chandra, is why is there not Fred Dibner climbing it? <sighs> what do you do? Suck it or stick it up your ass? Both. Well, just do one before the other, otherwise it tastes funny. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a yeah, my squape. Um, I've got an extension tank, so hence hence it's taller. Um, but that now holds five mil of juice, so it's it's fabulous. And I've got a point seven. Again, I've got canthal in here. I've got I've got twenty eight gauge round wire canthal in here. Um, there we go. Horrible manky coils, but but there we go. Dual coil. Me on dual coils. I don't do dual coils. Um, but I've got point seven dual coil. And loving it. And there's no thread. There's no threads on the bottom. It's uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da. I don't know if you can see inside. Can you see? You've just got little. You've got you've got three lugs on the side here, and that catches onto those three lugs. When I can get it, when you get it aligned right, there you go. And it drops down, and you just pull it, and it clicks into place, and it holds it in. And if you turn it the other way, can you see it's closed off the airflow? Yeah. And that means that means that it's now the tank is now sealed, and it doesn't leak juice everywhere. And it hasn't it hasn't mm. pissed juice anywhere. Um, it's been in my pocket, and uh, yeah, when you take it off, you can take it off, and it doesn't leak juice everywhere. You refill it. It's great. So this is my this is my go to work because it's solid stainless steel if I chuck this on the floor um, it should just bounce and it's shall on my we, noisy shall, we, shall we try it? I've zap wrapped. no let's not <laughs> ooh, 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 Chandler, Chandler. Ooh. I'll drop mine you drop yours no <laughs> to be fair noisy, noisy cricket I'm not so bothered I think the noisy cricket would probably I, I think would probably be absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just not going to. There you go. <laughs> I am not oh, going to. Sub, I'm just not going to. Sub, sub Vapes has just said about, have I missed something? Is there some sort of secret handshake to get these? No. I, no, there's I not. Was just, I was just replying. No, there's not. Speak to Craig. Um, Craig will yeah. look after you. Tell him what you want. He was at... Uh, b -b -b Oh no, collective. Vape collective. Collective. It was a vape collective. He had some with him at yeah. a vape collective and all the other there. stuff he does where he puts mods into all sorts of stuff. Remote control uh, little cars, model cars and god knows what. I want a hippopotamus. You want a hippopotamus? You want a hippopotamus? You know what I really well, want? For, I want for my desk. Do you remember the old um money banks like that you used to get from your bank, the old piggy banks that look like a pig? They're made of plastic? I really want one of them doing. The not west ones, where they went, pig her out, pig her out, pig her out. The piggies are waiting, they're waiting for you. Down at the not west, get that one. Chandler, yeah, we 
we were both born after 1954. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I don't what I'm on about. Yeah, that was the advert in 1980. Oh, shit. I'm actually going to Google it now. Are oh, they the Pottery Pigs? Because my, my mum collects those. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the one. They were, they were incredibly... I had a Midlands plastic pig in my first ever money box that we got when we opened the bank account, and it was great, and I just fancy having one of them. Oh, no! Hang on, is this... Is this YouTube? Oh, he's so fucking old. Oh, no, terrible. Yeah, the advert. Uh, 19... 1984. Here you go. Uh... Linking links Craig group Craig's group. Just search just M mods. I'm just, I'm just doing it. M mods. That's all you need to search, peeps. Mm, what juice to vape next? And my last, and my last oh. one that I'm. Oh yeah, and the juice I got oh, in there. Right. I have got. I have got. I've lost the bottle. Uh, coup de tar by. Yes. That was our flavor of the week on the podcast, and. Uh, it was. Uh, I didn't see it somewhere. So you still got some. Yeah, it's a little uh, bit. Uh, Edgar's more like, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, dragon fruit, papaya, and grapefruit. It's very nice. Um, Citrusy. Yeah. Nice. And mm. my last one is I've got, well, yeah, I've been waving this around, but the one thing I've got in here now is uh, I got something, uh, yeah, I'm always behind on the times. Flat wire! <laughs> I saw, this po- I saw this oh, post. Oh. I saw the post and shook my head. And sh- what? <laughs> how, lo- how long have I been telling him to get flat wire? How long? No, no, no. Shaking since, my- since Fest last year. You see, Dan, I've known Dan for a long time. I knew Dan just as it was released. And, yeah. you know, we've always supported him. We've always stocked his wire. Um, I only said to a friend of mine the other day, people yeah. people tend to be going for the Claptons, the, the few Claptons, oh, the that. aliens. Mm. No, that. We don't sell that much flat wire anymore. Do really? you? Well, you bloody should. I, I mean, so I, al- I always go for I always go for Claptons and and. Either either a twisted Clapton or a or a plain standard Clapton is what I normally have in here, and I've just put flat wire. You've seen it comes in at two point, what was it, point two six? And what's, what size flat wire is it? Banging! I don't know. That's the problem. I got given it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask Jeff exactly what size it is. What so size is it? More. What's it made out of? Uh, NI80. <laughs> oh, I, I really don't know why you don't like NI80. Um, I'm just a stainless steel fan. Really, I know you're a stainless steel fan, but um, so uh, was I. I got NI80. Where's my? They're not like the that's, that's, that's yes. bottles everywhere. They're not, oh, there's two of me. That's weird. Wow, what oh. have you done there? Hey, I like that. Oh, should we you go look like <laughs> I was looking for me. I was looking for me. Calipers. So I could measure it. There you go. It's that big. There you go. Yeah. That's how big uh, it is. No. Let you go. Oh, um, shit. Where's my calipers? Yes. Uh, yeah. Defog. Uh, flat wire, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. There you go. I don't mind that's, it. Yeah, that's my I don't I really don't mind it. I, I find obviously because the surface area of it you've got a lot of good you get yeah. good flavour from it. Um Do you space yours? No. No, oh, see I space mine. I d do, I don't no, use I've it anymore. Spaced, I've spaced oh. I've spaced them in I've spaced them in here and I've just made I've just wrapped another one. That's gonna stop focusing. Hey! Look at yeah. that. So that is very slightly spaced, just because I'm shit at wrapping. I, there's a, I was there's a say definite nap. Mass, mass judgment, isn't it, mate? Uh, so that again. David Childs, not a stupid question. Yes, it is just normal wire that's been flattened. 
Yes, and yeah. uh, sub vapes. I don't do Facebook, any other sign of them mods. Have a word with Craig in chat. He might give you. He has to a mental mod on Insta. There you go on Instagram. Um, well, he doesn't do Instagram either. Okay. What about? Do you do Messenger? His name is Craig Nichols. Email. <laughs> Send him a postcard too. <laughs> Send us a postcard, send us your name and address on a stamped addressed envelope. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> oh, awesome. Or, yeah, so sub, or, or sub vapes, you can message me on vvrpjim at gmail.com and I'll pass your messages on to Craig. How's that? There you go, that'd work. Yeah, there you go. That's vvrpjim at gmail.com. Yeah. So there you go. That's my that's my that's my vaping. That's what I'm vaping on. And I'm about to put a I'm about to put a flat wire coil, flat flat wire, flat wire coil into here. That um, seems quite a small flat wire you've got there, though, dude. Hold it up again. I know. I was gonna get my I was gonna get my calipers, vernier calipers on it to try and measure it. Um, Just hold it up. It'll do. It does seem very small. I'd say that's 24. I was going to say 20, 24, 25. Come a little well, bit that's... closer. Is that going to focus? There. I think that's 24. That's on a three, that's on a, that, that's three mil, that dowel in the middle. I'd say 24 mm. or 25. Yeah. Um, and that comes in that comes in at, that, that that comes in at the point two six, so nearly yeah, nearly point three, and that's oh, one two three four five wraps. On three now. Yeah, there you go. I like the stainless flat wires. Most of my builds are stainless flat, and spaced. Yeah, I got into the now the stainless. Stainless is lower resistance than camphor. Yeah. Yes, mate. Whereas, whereas NI80 is higher. Is it higher than camphor? I know it's higher no, than stainless. It's lower. <laughs> it's still lower than camphor. Yeah. NI80 good game, is good game. Than ah, steel, lower, lower. Lower. Yeah. Does NI80 he try is higher resistance. Are you trying to wind us up? No, have I got it the wrong way around? Yeah, uh, completely. No. So you've got camphor, NI80, stainless. Right, okay, Stainless that's fine. No, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm going the wrong the... way. I'm going the wrong way. Lower. Canthol. Canthol. NIAT. NIAT. Stainless. Stainless. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I, didn't know whether, I didn't know whether the NIAT was higher or lower than Canthol, but I knew it was higher resistance than stainless. I did get that right, then, didn't I? That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all right, then. That's okay. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Uh... Yeah. No, that's cool. So, uh, so yeah, but I, I, like the, the, I like the higher resistance. I, I always have to have more wraps, and you get, I get more. I have to have more ramp up time with the uh, with stainless than I do with NI80. Flavor wise, I think they're, they're pretty much on a par. Stainless is it, and is NI80. it dank? I know. Is it it's dank? Dank. Yeah, yeah, it's dank. So there you go. Wrap the nap of this coil. Into it. Say that again, Jim. I didn't hear you. Stop pretending you're down with the kids. Well done. I asked my daughter, "What does dank mean?" And she goes, "I don't know." <laughs> dank. It, I'm pretty sure it got something to do with the um, the uh, cannabis smoking fraternity um, used to describe very good cannabis. Oh shit! Aren't they closing down channels? Aren't they for talking about cannabis? Oh yeah, so, don't say yeah. it. No, no, no. Talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, um, we found it. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, the, the smoking daffodils. It's a flower, isn't it? And get one of that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So, dank was used for describing an awesome strain of um, daffodils, fam. You gets me. Yes, Dad, it's best sick farm. Come on, Dad. 
<laughs> next, next thing you know, you'll be doing that. <laughs> Gets me, bruv. <laughs> Again, showing my age. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> Delbert Wilkins. Do, do you not need to say a wooga after that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that just reminds me of the uh, Red Dwarf clip, you know. Oh, go, the sirens busted. A wooga, a wooga, abandoned I, ship. I do need to know. Well, this is this is for John more than me. How many waistcoats do you own? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a leather one. I've got this one. I've got. Why would you start with a leather one? If you want to be insulted, you don't start yeah. with a leather one. Uh, I've got a leather. I've got a leather <laughs> yeah. one. No, no, no. no. I have got a leather one that the I BBC bought one. in Las Vegas. Uh, it was, and no, no, I'm proud of it. It was bought in America. It's a patched leather waistcoat, and yes, I look campus tits in it, but who cares? Definitely look you like look someone from the British. Yeah, you know, I've got Sons, Sons of Anarchy t-shirt on underneath. Yes, yeah, Sons of Anchovy. Uh, that's the one. And you got Walking Dead. We're like, we're yes, like, uh, we're like an and. and and I'm in Sosk. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I've got I at least. Have you not? I've got at least five no. waistcoats, if not six. I've got a couple of Ideal Home Show ones. What Ideal Home Show waistcoats? No t-shirts. Do Dan's got one that me and John wore together. Oh, oh! If you could get an Ideal Home Show waistcoat, I'd be all over that. Oh Definitely. yes. Made I out of suede. Waistcoat. Sorry. Made out of suede with with leather studs. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It's no, no, stainless no, no, no. studs. Tassel, it's fine, it, it, needs be, it needs to be tiger print, and it yeah. needs to be suede on the. Right. What what size do you take? Just out of curiosity. Forty six inch chest. Extra large. Forty six inch chest. Yeah. On it. Right, okay. <laughs> right, I, I'm going to set a competition. <laughs> Never. Right. I'm going to set a competition. We need to find, I am going to go out and I am going to buy you the most randomest and you have to wear them on the show. The most what? randomest? The yes. most randomest what? Waist Waistcoats. Coats. Not the most random? No, right. randomest. Definitely randomest. Random. Okay. I'm... I must admit, I have got one. The most randomest one I've got is one that my mum made for me. And it's it's black, but it's got glittery stars and moons all over it. It's mm, a little bit. I can bit. do worse than that, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Mr. Blobby, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Honestly. No, there is there is not worse. There's not Google for it. There's not there's there's nowt wrong with a good waistcoat. I mean, I've got uh, this... I've got a lot of friends in China. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's... No, 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 no. Well, let, let, let's. I mean, I mean, the waistcoat has, has obviously. I mean, I, I wanted people to know that I have always worn waistcoats. You know that I wear waistcoats. This is nothing to do with the World Cup. And, Mark, uh, share and screen. Mark share screen. Mark share screen. Share screen. No, I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is dank. Oh, come on. What is it? You'll see. Is it? <laughs> I just seen John's comment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm waiting for Paul Daniels to come wombling in now. <laughs> Paul Daniels is my mum made me right. My mum made me this waistcoat because I was doing I was doing magic and at, at, at this point I was doing card tricks. I was working in a nightclub doing table magic. Oh, and were you, were you mom, doing magic dressed as Uncle Bulgaria? No, I wasn't. I wasn't at all. <laughs> I had a, I wore a white, a white t-shirt and I've got a mandarin collared jacket. So it was, it was quite smart. But my mum thought I needed a waistcoat with stars and, you know, silvery stars and moons on it because obviously that's what magicians wear. 
and and strangely, strangely, it stayed in the wardrobe. <laughs> okay, so, but you know, she was, she was, she was. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a nice thought. You did oh, say please. that you wanted tassels, right? Oh yeah, learn oh, tassels. That would be awesome. <laughs> I've got this. Like, like are you sure proper you tassels. Are you sure, are you sure you can't share screen? I'll turn my monitor off if you like. I'll turn, mm -hmm. turn my monitor off and you can share screen. I've actually lost. You've lost it. No, I, I think I think we need it. I think we just need to get it for you. It'd be funny. I I found a lovely one. <laughs> What's it going to be? Waistcoat of the week. Why is it not? Are you? I even I haven't got me I haven't got my name I've even got a little piece I've got a le even got a little strip of velcro sewn onto here so that when I was at work I could I just velcroed my name badge onto it. There you go. I, I think Subframe's got quite a good little idea. Why don't you do a magic trick every week? Yeah. A magic trick. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, why not? Starting from what? Six weeks time? Now. Now. <laughs> now. Okay. All right, man. Okay. You ready? Look, you wanna... look. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've got one for you. I have got the mankiest ever handkerchief. This is my. This is my. Um, my magic handkerchief. That. Uh, obviously. Does it look like the waistcoat. <laughs> it's. Uh, this is this is this is my handkerchief that I carry in my pocket. This is this is what I use. To mop up uh, vape spills, basically. Yeah, vape um, my yeah, So, um, so yeah, you ready? There you go. I've disappeared. No, I haven't, because it's fucking see through. There we go. That's shit. I know. I want to do a magic trick. Proper magic trick. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll think of something. I'll do oh, a magic I'm trick so you. excited. Are you? Why? You're looking at waistcoats, aren't you? I've never been so happy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's nice to know, Chandra, you get shit no matter what you do, whether it's a podcast or VTUK. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, it's great. It really is. I mean... Yeah, I, like, I, like, I like waistcoats. There's nothing wrong with waistcoats. They are smart, sophisticated. Oh! <laughs> you can do better than that. Tassels, tassels, baby. The hell? You can do better oh, okay, than that. Yeah. Come. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. That just is just like. Just, it, it just looks campus tree. It, whatever, whoever wears that, just looks campus tree. We don't need any more campness. <gasps> now, now, what what is a definition of a waistcoat? What does a waistcoat cover? It's got no sleeves and it yep. covers the waist, basically. Does it? Or does it, it cover your back? Middle. It covers your back, doesn't does it? Does it cover your back? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure about you this. You see, I'm quite liking that. What do you reckon? <laughs> what mm. the hell? That's not a waistcoat, because it comes absolutely nowhere near your waist. No. Mind you, if I had a six-pack like that, I'd, I'd wear it. Also, what oh, you've I got am. to remember, Mark, is whatever you get him, he's got to wear on the show. So, would you really want to see that? Fuck Yeah. I think your videos will be pulled down for a decent exposure. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't Craig's wear any right. shit underneath that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's incredibly village people. Definitely Game village people. Are oh, we what? Alright, have we got bit. anything have we got no. anything that's vaguely vaping related today? No. No. That's the podcast, mate, vaguely vaping related. Oh yeah, shit, sorry. Is that is that fluffy enough for you? Yes! 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 Not wearing that one. 
Yeah. You two yes, could yeah. look like Bangle. God, I'd look like Emu. That, that is, is that genuine Muppet fur? That's the question. I was about to say something, but I'm not going to get your videos you know, pulled down. I'm, I'm not wearing that due to cruelty to Muppets. That's just like, you know. <laughs> My next comment could have been too soon. Too soon. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm <laughs> so happy. Oh. So, yeah, Mark is now on a mission. <laughs> trying to humili humiliate me as much as possible. Oh come on, you see, I uh, can't, come up with it. The... I can't promise that I'm going to do my very fucking best to be at Fest this year. Um, but, yeah, baby. You're going to try to be at Fest? Why? Are you not planning on? Um, I've got <laughs> something come up that um, might stop me from going, but... Um, oh, no. I will do my very, 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 very best. Didn't see you at Jam. I know. Didn't see you at Expo. Come on. It was it was Expo. Yeah, it was Expo. Last time we saw you at an event was October Expo. Yeah. yeah. So you know you're looking at you, you. You can't let it go a full twelve month without without being at a show, mate. I know. You've got to, you've got to go to an event. For, if it, if it's know, any and, consolation. And, We'll be there at Manchester. Okay. At Manchester? Yep. Yeah. Is that the Expo thingy that I finally found out about the other day? Mm. Expo for Life was Vaping Life style. The life, Vaping Life style show, yeah. It's going to be incredible. And you're not going to see Chandler for hours because he's going to be there humping suits or something. Humping a stormtrooper. Awesome. What? Well, they've got. They're, they're gonna, there's going to be stormtroopers, and, and I'll, I'll come on. They've got to get. If anyone's listening from uh, from from the lifestyle expo, you, you've got to get a Dalek, a, a, an actual Dalek. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'll pass. I'll pass on your comments to the guys. Yeah, you know that. You know the laser thing. The the, 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 the laser arm. The person inside, all they have to do is blow vape down there, and it will just vape will come out at the end. Of them, of course, it will just, just be stunning. I'm easily amused. So, so Sorry. You're, going, you're going to the, Mark. Just leave him in his fantasy world. So you're going to this uh, lifestyle expo, he did. Yeah, I'll, Mark. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. Okay. Are you showing, or are you just? Yeah, we're vending, and we've also got space for Vape Talk UK to be there on the stand. So. Um, it'd be nice if we could get the boys there. Hey, mm. there you go. if the boys go, mm. don't have to call in a substitute last minute at fucking five to eight. What can I say? <laughs> Chris is Chris is a letdown. Well, yeah. Thanks for mm. filling in. You're a star, and, and bringing all of your mods in. What? What are we going to gonna talk about tonight? But show and tell. We had. Oh Christ! We had got that aeroplane thing from from China that was that was. <laughs> that, <laughs> what's that? Brilliant, Sam. Uh, am I B? Yeah, there we go. Is that one good enough for you? Yes, Mister Fucking Tumble. Oh, for God's sake. Mr. Tumble, it's Mr. Fumble. The guy's a paedophile. Oh, if we're talking about paedophiles, that's fine. My other comment about the other one was it looks like something that fucking even Jimmy Savile let go. Um, oh, my God. So I've, got, I've got so many people message me. Now, that, that, oh, that's, no. that's relatively... Um, that's horrible. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Boo. Even I'm looking at that and going, that's foul. Do you fancy... No, that that's what you do. My, my my missus. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm still sharing my face. Uh, my missus is into patchwork. Yeah, yeah. Do you know if I was to get you some um, homosexual porn prints, could you make me some patchwork? I can't yeah. wait for your bank to see that in your statement. Oh, homosexual right. porn prints. <laughs> oh my god. Badger's oh. gone absolutely skits. 
Oh no! Oh I Chandler, what... look at that! What is that? I... No, you're gonna have to make that bigger. I cannot see that. I'm gonna have to go full screen for this one. Oh, that's that just a Christmas. Christmas. Is that a Christmas one? Yeah, it's, it's a tacky Christmas one. Oh, that's awful. That is incredible. Chandler, if he gets enough, you could do a calendar. <sighs> a waistcoat calendar. No. I went to do something. I went into my phone. Oh, we were talking about, yes, what we were, um, what we're going to talk about tonight. We've just spent the past hour and a half talking about absolutely nothing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, how many, how many people have stuck with us? How many, how many people have we still got viewing? Uh, four. Eleven? Four. Oh, for crying out loud. What, what? Well, no, 29. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well done, you lot. <laughs> I'd have clicked out a long time ago. So what are the things yeah, that yeah. made me... without me here. One of the things that's made me smile this week, um, that... Jewel is being sued by parents. Yes, oh, are we allowed to say we're not allowed to say Jewel, are no, we? No, don't say that. It's J E W E L, the jewel of the Nile. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Um, yeah. So, so parents, cool. parents are starting to um, sue uh, Jewel, a, a um, manufacturer of a, of a certain pod system. Yes, um, they're starting. Hello. Um, <laughs> just thought she'd come and say hello. <laughs> Good job you weren't, weren't scratching your tit like you normally are. Um, How do you get was, away with that without a slap? Why would she slap me? It's true. Oh. When she sits back like go that, she's used to giving me a little bit of scratch. Anyway, parents Sorry, are yeah, suing yeah. Joelle. Um, and her reason is that um, her son is unable to stop vaping. So they're suing Joel. Because he can't quit vaping. Because he can't This is America, vaping. isn't it? Of course. Oh, yes. Only in the USA. And they've it's got like, him heavily, it, heavily addicted to nicotine, apparently. That's all right. Just so, buying some fags and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. The question would be if uh, if a parent tried to sue Marlborough um, over their son daughter being addicted to cigarettes, would would that is that ever has that ever been a thing? And no, they'd like probably they probably sue PMI, not Marlborough. Oh well, yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know what I mean, smarty pants. That'll be people joining the fucking queue. <laughs> There we go. Parents who don't take responsibility for their own parenting. Yeah, yeah. My, pretty much. My issue, I mean, how old was this child? 15. Okay. Would she rather him be smoking? Maybe. Does she smoke? No God idea. Nice. That would is be... This, that would is be... This, I've I've always said that I'm gonna say if my daughter came home with a cigarette in her hand, not that she's ever likely to because she's only three, but um <laughs> I, I, a, I would, in a buggy. <laughs> I'd sooner her vape than smoke, but I'd still yeah. kick her ass. I would still kick her ass, I'd sooner her not smoke and not vape, and she'd still get her uh, ass yeah. kicked for vaping. I completely agree. I mean, I've got an eight-year-old, and if he gets to 16, 17, and, and I catch him with a fag, he'll be in for an absolute hiding. Um, I would much rather sit down with him and go, look, you don't need to do this full stop, but if you're going to do one or the other, you go down this yeah. route. Um, and, and I think, actually, I would even help him choose the right thing to do you know to, for what he wanted so I would I would probably help him set himself up with a little e, uh, AIO or something like that but it's it's not going to be doing it because it's cool or anything like that 
you know. We all did it. What we've all started smoking too fucking young. We all did. But I'd yeah. rather I'd rather them not have the health implications to do with smoking and, and rather them have um the lifestyle choice of vaping. Definitely. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I wouldn't like it, but if he's gonna do one or the other, if I don't allow him to do one, he'll he will go and do the other. So and he can either have his juice for free because dad'll buy them or he can go and buy fags and if dad finds out he's in trouble. Apparently when did you start smoking, smoking, Jim? You are sorry? When did you start smoking? And how? Like uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I used to hold them like this and that was all wrong apparently. I stuck one up the nose. No. Um how, I started how, smoking. What is the right way to smoke, just out of curiosity? How did you smoke? Because I, I was well, a I was a finger mouth. smoker. Uh, I was a finger I was, smoker. I was that. You see, Where I did was... you find a cigarette from? That me draw. You still got cigarettes in your drawer? I'm sure there's another couple of packets in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how that's how not I was just surprised you were, made, you were you were able to pull out a cigarette so so quickly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. no, I really couldn't do it. <laughs> no. Fucking, I don't. I hate to see you throw up all over your nice camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I started. My uh, my dad had a. I, I lived in the local post office, so I really hope my parents aren't watching. Because I, I basically there was cigarettes for sale behind the counter. So uh, in America we every, in America every now and again we can't a cigarette with the cigarette You see what Defogs yeah, has written? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't sue the cigarette manufacturers. I'm pretty sure that was the deal with state tobacco taxes. Well, if that's if that's the case, well, seeing as America's got, seeing as America's got has lumped in. Um, it's lumped in vaping with tobacco products. Surely that should extend to um, that should extend to vaping products as well. Uh, but that that depends who's funding the uh, the legal case. Yeah, I'm yeah, just absolutely. bringing up. I'm just trying to find the original article. Yes, I agree. But in answer to your question, Chandler, I was I think yeah. 14. Um, and it was just, it's just friends and stuff. And I've always looked older than I am, so I was the person who went in and bought them. I mean, it was sixteen when I when I was legal age. Uh, when, I, when I was younger, yeah, yeah, sixteen was. was. And I, yeah. I've always looked older than I am, so I was the one who went in and bought the fags. Yeah, back in back in my youth, it was twelve. Because it was, you know. Because I'm that yeah, old. but back when you were younger, they still fucking rode on horse and carts. Um, <laughs> you see, they did me, round here. What's the bet? I I did, because both my parents were smokers, and they both smoked in the house and round us and in the car. And so, ac ac uh, cigarettes ac accidentally disappeared. Yeah, but cigarettes then were a curiosity thing. I didn't yeah. smoke other than. For pure curiosity, mum and dad do it. So, oh, let's try this. So, my yeah, yeah. my mum never so smoked. She's never see. been a smoker or a drinker. My dad used to smoke cigars. He was on Cafe Cremes, and actually, my first ever um, smoke wasn't that. It was probably when I was about ten or eleven year old, and I nicked one of his Cafe Cremes. Uh, he died when I was nine, and, and it, we still had tins of his Cafe Cremes about. Um, when I was ten or eleven, I think I went and grabbed a cigar and I think it was a bit of a missing him sort of thing um, and missing that smell so yeah I just went yeah. and lit a cigar and the coal shed and and half smoked a, a cafe creme trouble, trouble was a cigarette tastes completely different to how it smells yeah I, I like the smell of cigars and uh, my last smoke was uh, a cigar when my middle son was born. He's only two and a half, but I've been off the fags for about 
four and a half, five years now. Four, four and a half years, four years, something like But, um, yeah, had a cigar. You see, I didn't uh, start smoking You still look the properly. Properly. Sorry, mate. I, I didn't start smoking until I was probably 16, 17. And it was purely... Well, not, I don't want to say peer pressure, but everyone else was doing it, so I thought I may as well do it. So, I suppose, peer pressure. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have said I... I, I started... I had cigarettes when I was 14. I, I wouldn't say I smoked until after I'd, no. after I'd left home. About See, I, I can't say mine was peer pressure, because it was a group of us that were all the same age, and we all started the same time we all bought the, the first pack of cigarettes that we ever bought were craven a um and i bought them from the little nissa shop and and craven a was my brand for a couple of years i think you see i was bent to the edges <sighs> and then no. even today if i i never used to smoke at expensive brands my go-to brand was Richmond. Yeah, was I was Benson Richmond. and Hedges. Benson Hedges, Sovereign, and then Richmond. Sovereign was yeah. Sovereign was what I Sovereign Silver. I liked I. I um, you see, I Sovereign were two forty nine, weren't they, for twenty when they first came out? Yeah, yeah, they were. They were like, oh, Sovereign, because I, 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 um, my dad had got John Player special in the shop, hmm. and. It was the John Player special white, uh, the white box that I that I nicked, but they were expensive. So when I actually started paying for them, um, yeah, it was it was Sovereign, uh, Lambert and Butler. You see, I, I and, if now you were to put a Benson Hedges in front of me or an Embassy Number no. One, Embassy Number no. One was my. I'm going to treat myself to a packet of fags. Embassy Number no. One was my. Mm. No, I went through a phase. I think I went Craven A, Royals. Yeah, because you got oh, made Royals, in the packet. They, Royals. they were the ones that yeah they came. They got twenty five in, didn't they? Twenty four. They tasted right? like. They and then, tasted like and then Mayfair. And then, went, then I oh, I thought well I want to stop smoking, so I'll go on to menthols because I hate the taste of menthols, and I went on to. Oh. Mayfair menthol, and then Gray. I ended up on rich. Menthol. Gray, do not go and have a cigarette. Do not go and have a cigarette. No, no, no. One forty-five, <laughs> ten silver in. That's right. Oh. How many people are sat here actually reminiscing, thinking, you know what? I could, you know, I don't want I one. I don't need one, <laughs> but I fancy one just for. I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking. Well, I don't know why I'm. I, I really could have, but I have noticed that oh, Chandler's now done it. But I had noticed that the whole time we were talking about fags, none of us vaped on that month. But no, I, I was I, 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 a cigar. If you had a really nice cigar, I might have a little. Uh, well, it's not really a special occasion, so I probably wouldn't bother. But then, if I had I like one cigar, be it. JP, I smoke JPS because I like the packet. Weren't they blue? Well, and they got like a blue colour to them. JPS, JPS. The, 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 the standard or black JPS. and gold, black and gold. The standard JPS were black. Think of the. Um, do you remember the JPS Norton that they they had they sponsored the motorcycle racing. Motor racing, yeah, yeah. And the the JPS Norton was a was an all black bike, and all you'd got was the JPS logo on the side on on each side of the bike. And I had a I had a big poster of the uh, JPS Norton bike. Uh, on my wall, but yeah, that was when you could uh, tobacco could sponsor uh, mm. motorsports. What do you, I know? I know this isn't really in keeping for the show, but what do you miss about smoking? Nothing. What do I miss? I miss the Zippo. I miss. I hated the Zippo. Zippos. I hated I the taste the, of petrol. The I, Zippo was I miss my. You had the trips. Zippos. You could flick it. And, Flick it and and it lit, you know. That was just uh, the ladies loved it. You know, just, I I still get Zippo light. My Do my you? Uh, you Zippos? my wife's 
my wife's family know that I collect Jack Daniels memorabilia, and yeah. every year they get the latest Jack Daniels Zippo and Jack Daniels shot glasses and stuff like that. So I still, I still, oh, I, I miss. You, I do. But when I when I was a kid, the thing that the thing I remember the other day was when I was a kid, we actually got found out by one of my mate's parents. Um, we were, we had this little bush. There was a bush at the top of the road from his house, and we used to hide the fag packet in the bush. Um, and one of the na- one of the people who lived across the road went round. They'd spotted us from the window, and they went round to his mum and dad's house, um, and they found the the fags obviously that we'd hidden in this hole in this bush. Um, but they they were concerned because they thought it was drugs originally that we were burying in there. <laughs> but no, it was just a packet of fags. Mm-hmm. I do, and I still remember shit I got in <laughs> when I stopped smoking. That, well, I came to the point I was, I was teaching, um, and every single cigarette I had was a habit cigarette. Not one did I need, not one did I want. But at certain traffic lights, I'd light up. Every break, I'd light up. Every whether I wanted one or not, because breaks were very few and far between, you'd go out and rag three fags. Because then you got a four, three-hour lecture. To stand and teach, yeah, you you go and have two or three fags beforehand. You'd miss out lunch breaks. You'd, do you know what I mean? You just, and every single cigarette I put out, it was like I didn't even need that. I didn't want that. No. And every single cigarette I was not enjoying anymore. I did not enjoy smoke. When I stopped, I did not stop. I did not enjoy smoking. And we stopped smoking when we found out Lindsay was pregnant. And did you instantly to... stop? Yep. Did you in- instantly switch and stop? Yep. Instantly. And I can be 100% honest that from the day that we made the decision to stop smoking, I've not had a cigarette since. Not even, you know, the first the first few days, the first week, the first few hours. But like, fuck this, I've had enough. I'd, I'd not had one. I think you had one, didn't you? Yeah, because the didn't tell me that to get in the patches, did they? I didn't tell you how to get in the patches. Yeah, she told me to, have the, to take the patches upstairs to bed with me, but didn't tell me I couldn't get in the packets without getting scissors. And if I was going down for some scissors, I was going down for a fag. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that 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 was the midwife. So if All she right. was going down, if she was going downstairs for a, a pair of scissors. for a pair of scissors, she may as well go and have a fag instead of opening the patch. But no, you. That was it. That was it. Yeah, she, she had one. Did we all? Did I? Did, did you? I didn't instantly. You didn't. I I quit. I, I cut down. Um. Uh. I, it was basically the the first one in the morning, and the last one at night, or the the one after the, uh, after dinner. That was my last two. Food was my big one. Yeah, I, I used to yeah, have yeah. one. For, for, it was probably about three weeks that I, three or four weeks that I had one in the morning, first thing, and one straight after dinner. That was it. And then um, I got a juice that I quite liked in the morning, what? and that was it. Is that a cigarette? That actually looked like a cigarette then. That was because. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to say it seemed a bit cloudy. Yeah, no, it's... I've, I've I nicked this, right? I've now know exactly why he vapes. Chandler doesn't do vaping for the health benefit. Chandler does vaping because he looks less camp. Hold the cigarette again, Chandler? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't know what you mean, dear. No, I missed the fulfilment that smoke gave me. You know what? When I first stopped and we were using CE4s and everything, I didn't get the fulfilment from the amount of from the amount of vapor I was used to. And I kind of agree with what Dave's saying that I I missed that. But as soon as I moved up to sub ohm, as soon as we started, I started using and producing more ad- more dense vapor. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm a little bit different to that. I am. Oh, look, he just did his trick. If everyone's, if no one was watching, Chan just did his trick for the night. The hidden behind the hand um, thing. Yeah, behind the hand and in the ear and then out the mouth. Um, recently, I, I became very, very stressed with with work and bits and pieces just before I, I stopped doing the job I was doing and moved into the industry. Um, and I started to get quite agitated and quite antsy. And I wasn't going to go back to smoking because fuck that. Um, and I ended up going on to a mouth to lung setup and going to Nixol. And it's fine. I, that gives me all the fulfillment I need. I mean, I've got all these mods sat in front of me and there's a lot here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, eleven. I've got 12 mods sat in front of me. And then I've got one mod with Nixol. And you'll see me using this all the time because it just gives me amazing satisfaction. Even though it's just a little shitty mouth to lung setup, you know. It's, well, it's not shitty, but it's a little twelve point four watt setup, not loads of cloud and all the rest of it. But it fulfills me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I do vape it like a champ. Don't get me wrong. I go through about six mil a day on twenty milligram mix salts. But it keeps you off the cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, it does. But willpower has got something to do with that as well, you know. <laughs> nah. Because going back to your article about the fucking the kid and blaming the the rule for doing it, um, it's not. It's her child's lack of willpower. The person she should be suing is herself for not creating a child who has willpower. It's the same with it. Yeah. I mean, you're all. Well, if you if you don't want to give up, you don't give up. I mean, when my first well, you said that, but then your research last, your research on the podcast last week was quite interesting from the Anglia University. Oh people yeah, didn't yeah. Want they, to, they just they right, for what? Yeah, yeah. They got they they got people and said, "Look, here you go. Try this." They gave they gave vapor they gave vape devices to smokers. Um, for some research, and um, what they found that there was there was quite a few there was quite a few smokers who had absolutely no intention of giving up whatsoever. That's what they like, like. Yeah, we'll we'll try it for the laugh, and, and the intention was I'll use the vape uh, for situations where I'm, I can't smoke, and they ended up vaping completely and gave up smoking. Um, which, yeah, I thought was like, yeah, great. Accidental quitters. Yeah. You see, Lindsay loved smoking. She enjoyed smoking. I didn't, so it was easier for me. I honestly, hand on heart, never thought she'd ever, ever, ever stop. Hand on heart. Because she enjoyed smoking far too much. I, yeah, I loved smoking. I loved the fact that I, I was... I was and um, it was it was an excuse for a break. It was, you know, the, the folk at, the folk at my work. If you had a if you had a fag, if you smoked, um, you'd go, ah, can I have a quick fag break? Go on and off you go. And they'd have an extra five ten minute break for them to go and have a fag. If you didn't smoke, you didn't you couldn't say, oh, can I go and stand outside for five minutes? You know, that, what? Fuck off. Get back to work. You know, um, so that was one of the reasons I started smoking. But my wife was still smoking for three years after I quit. And that was hard. Your Being... wife still smokes, doesn't she? Chad? Yeah, where where where's that come from? Um <laughs> yeah. Just I've literally, she, I, I, I literally I, nicked out and said, Can I just borrow a fag? And she's looking at me like Why? She says, Don't worry, you'll get it my, back in up when we're smoked. My uh my missus was one of the last people I'd think would ever give up. You know, she she'd been around three years with me, giving her all sorts of little bits and pieces and kit and stuff, and trying to get her off the stinkies. But um, she's only been properly quit for five or six months now. Well, um, look, I'll, I'll... After, I mean, she she went through a cancer. She, she had stage three cancer, um, and it wasn't good. And it wasn't fun, um, and she still smoked. 
and then we, you know, sat down and all the rest of it. And I got her, I got her to try some Nick Salts. She's now on Nick Salts. She's been smoke free. It's the only thing that's ever got her off. 18 milligram, 26 milligram when it was available, didn't do it. 18 milligram Nick Salt or 20 milligram Nick Salt, and she's she's fine. Um, and now she's moving on to cloudy setups and all the rest of it. Um, but it was only because she had the cancer reared its head again, and, and she went right. Now I've got to do something. So she was. Where's I mean, my... she went. Well, she went through cancer once, and had to have loads of stuff removed because of it, and that didn't was stop it... her smoking. So that's why was I it... thought she was going to be the last person ever. Was it a smoke-related cancer? No. No. Whereas my no, whereas my missus. I won't go into it, but yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Where, where my, no, I was just I was just curious as to whether it was smoke related. No, but the doctor said that obviously if you, if you're more prone to uh, she's 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 a susceptible person because she's susceptible smoking's just not good. Um, and even them saying that did fuck all. Um, it was when it reared its head again the second time round, yeah. um, and she's she's got an operation another operation coming up this month August. So yeah. Not fun, but no, no. Well, as my go. missus gave up. She gave up smoking when she first became pregnant. So she gave up smoking, and didn't smoke until she's. It's only in the past three three years she started smoking again. So she was she was given up for a good ten year period. Um, so, so yeah. I mean, when I was when I was when I started vaping, she wasn't smoking. It was it was me that was sneaking out the back door, and then she would bollock me for stinking the smoke when I came back in the house, and I wasn't allowed near the baby and shit like that, you know. Which was which was what which was what led to me starting vaping in the first place. So, so, she so your wife, so your right wife's a recent smoker then. So she smoked. She smoked before that, and she's, oh, she, okay. She's, okay. She, yeah, she smoked. She gave up. She gave up when she found out she was pregnant. She literally stopped smoking when she found that the day she found out she was pregnant, didn't smoke again for ten years. Long. Ten years for about for about ten years, and she's come back to it. Which, it which ju- it is just funny. it just goes to show that we are all addicts. You oh. know, we've you know we've all. We all have a nicotine addiction, hence why we vape or we have smoked, and it doesn't take much to go back <coughs> and start smoking again. Uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, we, we all have very addictive personalities, otherwise, uh, why would we be doing it? Why would we all have as many mods as we have? Why would we all have as many juices as we have? Why would we be in the industry? Uh, we, we're there because we have addictive personality disorders. We all do. We're all fucking nuts. Every one of us is fucking nuts. Think about every single person you know that's in the hobbyist end of vaping. They're all fucking nuts. Every one of them in chat. They're all fucking nuts. You lot. But we love you for it. And everyone's fucking different. You know, we... we uh, have, you got any, have you got any other addictions? I'm not I mean, about I, drugs I, I, or anything. No, I, I'm just, I, I just, I just need to share that I just rebuilt this and it was working absolutely fine on my X cube, and I've now stuck it on my noisy cricket, and it's not firing at all, which is a right royal pain in the backside. Are we, are we about to see a battery vent? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, fortunately, the noisy cricket has got. To, well, I nearly put, I nearly put it in there, which wouldn't have. I don't think it's got reverse. It has got reverse battery protection. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, I, I had a, a massive gambling addiction. I, I had a big gambling addiction. Me too. Um, yeah, Texas Hold'em Poker, Blackjack, um, online, offline, live. Um, I, I used to play a lot. Um, I used to play pool for money as well. Um now a game. I game. I, I don't do anything by halves. I never have done. That's just me. I jump if it's feet worth, first. If it's, worth, if it's worth doing, it's worth abusing. It's worth doing properly. Whether that's... Yeah, of course it is. 
whether that's vaping if you're going to do it you're going to go balls deep into it i'm exactly the same if if you're going to if you're going to start collecting let's for exa say for example like chris collecting knives you go balls deep you collect knives but i think that's the whole thing with this industry <laughs> I'm, I'm not i don't necessarily think that it's one up one upmanship but as mr fox has just said we obsess over it yeah uh, uh, we've got mark yeah. uh martin martin's in chat martin's got a huge trainer collection huge trainer collection um i didn't realize chris collected knives because i've got some knives that you can have i don't collect them anymore um i used to be an airsofter i spent thousands and i mean thousands of pounds on airsoft and when i sold my stuff off i sold it off dirt cheap and it still fetched over five grand um i did it with I played... fishing i did it with photography i did it with everything i do and i'm sure lindsay will vouch for that i go balls deep into it so it's either all or nothing that's all it ever is yeah. exactly yeah i mean yeah, I go all in. I did battle reenactments at one point. So I've got. I can understand. I've got, I can understand. You look. You look like a sword outfit. You know. Yeah, I was a. I was a Saxon. Uh, so I've got a yeah, Viking, Viking era battle reenactment. So I've got shield, spear. I've got you know twelve foot spear. Uh, all all this shit sitting in the garage that I just bought and bought. And then and what was the other thing? And, and from that. I started making jewellery, um, and I made chainmail chain mail jewellery. So, and I then went to we went to Goth Fair, Whitby Whitby Goth Weekend, uh, twice a year for about eight nine years, selling the selling the jewellery at, uh, at Whitby, and yeah, so it was well you. Chandler, you've and seen I, the sort I, of stuff. I missed, I, I missed a trick with that because at one point I, I, I just started vaping, and I was I was trying to convince my wife. I'm saying, look, I reckon if we went to Whitby and I'm at a stall and took this the, these this vaping stuff, we'd we make a we'd make a killing. I even I even went to the um, guy in Mirage, and he was like, yeah, we can sell it you for sale uh, for cost, and I'll, I'll do a, a sale and return. And uh, and my missus talked me out of it, but I, I was this close to uh, to starting selling uh, selling vaping stuff at uh, uh, on a on a stall at Whitby. Ch Chandler's seen some of the stuff that's around my my place that I've made, that I've that I've worked on with my lathe and bits and pieces, and um, I'm a wood turner. I enjoy yeah. it. It's it's a way of just chilling out. That leads to a lot of expensive equipment, a lot of expensive equipment, um, and and woodwork. I've got every tool under the sun for doing woodwork with. I didn't, you know, it's not it's not cheap. It's just I got balls deep into it. You know, I started off by making a few little boxes and bits and pieces, and then I ended up building a false wall with a TV in the back of it and a fireplace and. Things led from one to another, you know. It's... We do just go, we do just go nuts with things. I mean, yeah. I, I started learning how to play think... a concertina. I think and Chandler should collect waistcoats. Effectively, I probably do. Uh, the amount I've got, yeah. And if you I, don't I know, you it. will do by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, when I went, if if I go into I don't know uh, something like a next a, a next whatever if I go into a shop and I head into the men's section, I usually go for the waistcoats first. Sorry. And um, and also half, everybody half the, who, half the battle is finding something that fits because because he loves them so much. Everybody who's in the chat right now should find a picture of a gorgeous waistcoat and oh. send it to the VVRP at gmail.com just because yeah, we could like fill his <laughs> inbox shitty waistcoat pictures great 
Uh, that's Keith, the I love your idea. I love your idea. <laughs> Look, a chainmail, a chainmail waistcoat. Now that, that I would wear. In all seriousness, if you if you come across an awesome, awesome, terribly embarrassing, crazy ass by, waistcoat, feel free awesome, to post it. Yeah, by awesome you mean awful. Yeah, feel free to post it in the Vote Talk UK group, and um, we'll we'll have a whip around and make sure he's got it. Um, whoa, 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 Mark, you're missing a trick here. What's that? Put it in into the the Vote Talk UK Facebook group. And tag Chandler. And tag Chandler. And then just Great in case he doesn't get it. So many well. Facebook, Facebook notifications. Hey, have you seen that? <laughs> I'm gonna all of a sudden, you know you know where your adverts get um you know, your, like your eBay adverts tend to be linked to shit you've looked at. I'm gonna all of a sudden they're gonna start morphing into waistcoats. Like, I I've, I've got that feeling. It's going to look like the Blue Oyster Bar next week. <laughs> that was that was Cocktail, wasn't it? Wasn't it Cocktail, the Blue Oyster? What film was it? No, Top Gun. Oh, Top yeah. Gun. Top Gun. Top Gun. Blue Oyster. Oh. You never there close you your eyes anymore. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. It's worse than the waste. trying hard not to show it. Baby, the baby, baby, I know it. You've lost the love and feeling. <laughs> All that love and feeling. Right now we need now we need just a, a, an image of a motorbike. You've lost that, that love and feeling. Now it's gone, oh, gone, gone, gone. 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 Whoa. Oh. Boom boom. Boom boom. <laughs> it is poli it's police academy. It is police academy. Oh. oh, I was just to go into the next line. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> right, on that note, we're about there, aren't we? Oh I'm going to um I'm not gonna hang around for long, but I will Pop a link out into the hangout. Are you guys going to hang oh, out? Oh no! Us? I've just hang on a minute. Hang on before we, before we go any further. I've just been tagged in a photo in Bait Talk UK. Oh, that's awesome! Oh no! Oh. no, 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 no. Screen share. Screen share. I've got to see this. Have you seen it? No. Okay, no. how do I do a screen share in this one? Is it that one? I'm there upset. Look, look at that! Oh, no, that is I'm awesome. Really upset. I'm You're really upset. upset. Why? Because you just said I've been tagged in a photo. That's not enough. That's nowhere near enough. Oh. <laughs> Spam the shit out of it. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Night, oh, Craig. Like love waistcoat. you. What do you think? That, that, is a, that is a great waistcoat. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, Craig, awesome. Yeah, go with that one. Okay, how do I unshare? There we go. Hola. Night, Craig. Craig's going. Night, Craig. Night, Craig. Thanks for the, you know, showing me the Dalek t-shirt. Uh, waistcoat, even. There you go. Chandler, I can only see your ugly mug. Yeah, I can only see my ugly mug as well. Thanks, Mark. Please. I'm not telling you about my collections, because I don't want shit. Uh, oh. No, mine are just dying. Just and, and the, unless they're Batman UK was a... I'll tell you yeah, about I my got... UK made more questions. Yeah, yeah, okay. I got into Batman comics on the chronic, but anyway, we won't go into that now because we were saying goodbye, weren't we? Shall we? Shall we save that for another show? Oh no, oh. my Facebook is now going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh... Yeah. You um, wicked then... people. Okay, I'm tagged in another. Oh, oh, flamingos. Oh no, I can't share that one because that is just that is just foul. My my daughter would love that. She loves flamingos. Are flamingos foul? No, not. It's chickens and, Are they foul? and stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that one. Oh, oh dear. dear. 
better than some of your fucking jokes. The yeah, show's been um, cancelled. <laughs> right. Just I'm not living creating... down that cancelled joke. Sorry. Just creating what's a green and, What's green and invisible? This cabbage. Chandler, Chandler, Chandler. What's that? A dip one of them. A dip one of those. <laughs> what's one of these? It's one of these doing press-ups on the mirror. And on that note, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you next week. I will. Hang on, hang on, the... Mark. Mark. Uh... Mark. Mark. <laughs> you haven't told them. Told them what? Oh, they can hear me uh, a bit more of me on uh, the vaguely vaping related podcast with my co host, Mr. Charlie. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've just realised, I've just realised you're sat next to a mirror. Yes, mate. Yeah. So, so all that was actually quite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sliding wardrobe, look. Shit. <laughs> right, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Adios. Bye-bye. That spells come. Bye. <laughs>